Dodge Torque Arm 2 and Motorized Torque Arm 2, or MTA 2, are commonly used in screw conveyor applications requiring reliable performance. These heavy-duty gearboxes mount to the trough end of the screw conveyor, which provides easy installation, reduces downtime, and lowers total costs. This video demonstrates the installation of screw conveyor drives using standard drive shafts. This video should be used to supplement manual numbers MN1601 and MN1695. Use all required personal protective equipment. Disable equipment using proper lockout, tagout procedures. Gather all required tools and components. The screw conveyor adapter kit includes an adapter, washer, tapered wedge, keeper plate, key, seals, and hardware. You will also need the correctly sized drive shaft and, if needed, an adjustable packing kit. With the small side of the adapter on a table, use a seal driver to gently install one of the seals into the reducer side or small end of the adapter. If not using the optional adjustable packing kit, install the second seal into the trough side or larger end of the adapter. If using the adjustable packing kit, skip this step. Next, install the washer into the side of the trough side of the adapter. If using the optional adjustable packing kit, position the adapter with the larger trough side down on the workbench. The kit includes a packing retainer, braided seals, threaded studs, and nuts. This produces a barrier that keeps the material in the trough and prevents foreign material from traveling down the shaft and into the gearbox. Compress and install one braided seal into the machined bore of the adapter. Continue with the other two braided seals, offsetting the joints. Now, install the threaded studs into the adapter deep enough to allow the packing retainer to clear the top of the studs. Install the packing retainer placing the machined shoulder against the braided seals. Then, install the nuts hand tight. Do not tighten these nuts with the tool until the drive shaft has been installed. Safely support the gearbox so that the adapter can be installed on the gearbox output side. Dodge screw conveyor adapters are designed with openings to allow foreign material to drop out of the system preventing contamination. Install the four bolts and washers, then tighten them to the specified torque rating in the instruction manual. Next, install the drive shaft through the adapter and into the gearbox, leading with the end that is drilled and tapped for the retaining bolt. Align the keyway in the drive shaft with the keyway in the output hub of the gearbox and install the key. Install the retaining ring into the tapered wedge. Now, slide the tapered wedge into the output hub around the drive shaft. Then, install the keeper plate and torque the retaining bolt into the end of the drive shaft against the outside face of the snap ring and torque to the specified value. Finally, as much as possible, Hand tighten the nuts on the packing retainer and then rotate one additional turn with a wrench. Once in operation, these nuts can be re-tightened if the braided seals wear during normal operation. Braided seals can be replaced as needed. This completes the installation of the Dodge Torque Arm 2 and Motorized Torque Arm 2 screw conveyor adapter assembly. Contact Dodge Application Engineering for installation questions. We have put product support at your fingertips. For our online selection program, visit ptwizard.com. For our e-commerce platform, authorized customers can visit dodge.ptplace.com.